Capital crime is most often from our nation's capital. <laughs> hey, just share it with you. Voters in Washington state here not long ago put in this new law. It's called one or maybe it's an I-594 and it requires that every gun sale include a background check of the buyer, except for antique guns and sales within immediate families. I guess they think that if you have an immediate family that they're all okay. I wonder where they get that information. I have an immediate family. One of them is an ex-murderer. One of them is this. You know, hey, who would have thunk it? But they don't know that. What kind of a loophole is that? If you're going to do it, maybe just do it right. In any event, the whole thing ain't right. It's wrong. State Rep uh, Matt Chi is now urging Washington state residents and law enforcement agencies to disobey the new law. Well, oh, that's pretty strong stuff, but he goes on to say, hey, you know what? Tyranny, tyranny, I'll get it right, is not an option. The right to bear arms, it's a right. And it can't be taken away from us. And he goes on and on. And I agree with him because he's right. These other people, they're not right. Right. That would make them wrong as well as being left. Employees recently at the uh, Great Basin National Park in Nevada were amazed to discover a rifle that has been leaning up against a tree for a long, long time. They're uh, thinking it's 132 years that it's been there. And it's kind of camouflaged, I guess, with uh, regard to where it's been sitting and nobody's ever found it. And now they have. I think you probably have heard the stories been in a lot of the news and so on. But I have a different spin on it because, of course, I look at that gun and I think, Hey, what's going on here? We've had a rifle on the loose for 132 years. Guns kill people. We all know that. So what happened to this gun? There must be a reign of terror that has been going on, I would think, and a lot of killing in the job. And finally, it's been captured, this rifle, because again, it has been on the loose. And God bless us, because now we're safe. How am I doing? Hey, actor Liam Neeson, if I'm saying that right, Taken 3. It's a movie my wife and I went to it the other day in Palm Springs, California. It was a good show. I mean, I liked it, but I know what he's about. All these actors, not all. I mean, you got your Eastwoods and you got your Willis's and so on. I get it. But for the most part, you got a bunch of hypocrites. They make a lot of money from using guns in movies. The Roger Moore years ago with, uh, he was a 007 and James Bond. It upset me to find out that he said guns are bad and nobody should have them. And yet he was making 20 million a show. <laughs> I'm digressing. Back to this. This fella says, every week I pick up a newspaper and I see that in the U.S. U.S. of A. Kids are killed in schools again. I don't know where he's getting his papers and any event he goes on and on. And the gun company's upset and they say we're not going to give him any more guns for the show. And well, Why would you in the first place? Don't you know what these guys are about? Try to get a law passed somehow if they can't use your guns. That's pretty simple. Make a stink because they're a bunch of hypocrites. Papa John's Pizza. They're standing by their pizza delivery woman who opened fire this uh, past Sunday on an armed robber in an act of self-defense. And the drivers aren't supposed to to be armed and this girl wasn't thank goodness she was but you know what there's been nothing else said about it and I can't help but wonder pardon me but is she black and is a person that she shot black because I gotta tell you if the driver was white and the person she shot good guy bad guy is not even relevant if that person she shot was black and she was white I kind of think we'd be hearing a lot about this I think you'd even have the president coming in saying don't eat pizza anymore but any of you know we haven't heard anything why? Why? Just wondering. A record number, 2,212 guns, most of them loaded, 80% of them are loaded, and of course they should be if a gun is loaded, it's a stick. <laughs> in any event, were discovered, and travelers carry on bags in airports in America. <laughs> I mean, I've almost done that because I carry, but you know, you got to really think, oh, I'm getting on a plane, now what have I got and what shouldn't I have? In any event, when they're caught, uh, the police are called in, and most times the people really have forgotten, and the police understand that, and they let them go. And in addition to the guns, though, 1,400 dangerous objects like stun guns, knives, razors, and a knife that was even hidden in an enchilada, <laughs> and a hand grenade have been found in airports. Those people we're not too sure about. I kind of think they're bad guys, the people that brought those on board or tried to. Y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.